nothing wrong with a rebrand. It's nothing wrong with looking over of the stuff you overlooked and apply that and rebrand yourself. A good use for these tips, especially if you're under 30, like to really, you know, get your shit, get it together, get it together. I was thought I'm so proud of it. Um, I feel like I wish I would have celebrated a different way, but I feel like some milestones are still a celebration, whether it's big or small, you still celebrate it in the best way you could. So stay away from the negative energy. <laughs> Stay away from the negative energy for real. Like, negative energy is so toxic. Like, it can be the smallest thing and it can just start growing, like, throughout the relationship. Or it could just start growing inside of you. It's Carol Maybe, and I'm back with another video. My voice was lost last week, so I'm so sorry, but I'm trying to do a double upload, so we gotta get into it. If you're a return subscriber, hey, what's up? And if you're a new subscriber, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because you gotta join, you gotta join. I'm here talking about, I'm talking about dating advice. From my experience, not professionally, I do fashion vlogs, I have business vlogs, and just tips about self-care as well. Go back to my videos and check them out because, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm shy y'all, but just cause I'm doing it in a new setting, but this, these are good tips though, I promise. We will get this. Um, also, I'm a little bit like stoned right now to help me, to help me like focus a little bit more and not be as like, you know, anxiety and things like that. Oh, I forgot my snacks, hold on. All right, y'all. So if y'all got some snacks or anything, I got these from. Well, yesterday I got these from Wawa. They might be the wrong size. I wanted sour Skittles, like that's crazy. And I got some cheese, canned cheese. I'm okay, getting some rice crackers. This is something like, you know, it's something about like that childhood snack. We be like bringing it back to like home and like safe. So that's what I like doing. And then I got me. I don't know why they sent it in like a like a hot coffee cup, but I got the Wild Wild Refresher. If you haven't tried that, go try that because it's really, really good. It's like a really good substitute for Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. So, you know, you can't sleep on Wild Wild, okay? <laughs> mm. If y'all don't like smaking, um, I would skip like maybe like a minute of this because, you know, I don't know what I'm getting to just real quick. I can't care if people are listening <laughs> while I'm recording this, even though I'm home by myself. I don't know. <laughs> I got the munchies, y'all. I know y'all got the munchies too, if you sound like me. Mm. Anyway, I just want to try my nose. <laughs> oh, but it's real quick. Drop on my mm. <clears throat> so good. So good. I think I'm gonna pause this real quick. I ain't trying to record. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back. I know the lighting is a little bit crazy too. Um, because I'm using a desk light lamp that I got from Walmart a long time ago. My stand broke the last time I did content like a month ago. So I was like, what the? Anyway, today's video we are gonna do today we're gonna talk about fifteen things that I learned or things to know before your thirties. <laughs> wow, like I'm really thirty? That's crazy because I don't even feel like I'm thirty. I don't even feel like it. That I hit this milestone, I'm so proud of it. Um I feel like I wish I would have celebrated a different way, but I feel like 
some milestones are still a celebration whether it's big or small you still celebrate it in the best way you could so i do think about stuff like that like not every birthday has to be the birthday that that you dreamed of i mean even though you really want it to be like sometimes you know you can't afford it or you, but you always want to promise yourself the next time but and then still celebrate yourself too like don't just be like oh well now that i don't have um you know, now that I don't have the money to go downtown and go to this nice restaurant, you know, I could just stay home and do a photo shoot or stay home and watch a movie or, you know, stay home and do things. And that's, that's what I did, even though I really wanted to go out and I'm still make it happen. But, you know, it probably won't line up with that milestone and that's okay. Like all celebrations still matter. That's, that's how I want to go about it. But all right. All right. Let me get into it because I got 15 things and I hope this light is not too bad, y'all. We're going to do better. We're going to do better. But um, so the first one is don't give up on yourself if you really want to do something. Like if you really have your mind set and you can't sleep without doing that thing for the day or working on that thing or writing about that thing or planning that thing, like don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Even if it feel like it's not a way, it's still a way. You just have to really, you know, get down to maybe gritty, like get down to why you really want to do that thing and plan it out. And yeah, <laughs> I hope this is not too lengthy, this video, <laughs> but it's a good video. This is a good video. I feel like, I feel like anyone can benefit from this. Um, if you're over 30, if you're under 30, for me, I feel like teenagers, um, younger adults in your 20s, I feel like y'all can still benefit from this. If you're 60, if you're 80, but like, I would want to know about this stuff. So, yeah. Um, two, um, pour into yourself fully and never be selfish. Never be selfish with yourself. If you feel like, again, going with your goals, if you know you had a swimming class, I don't have a swimming class, but if you know you had a swimming class um, at 2.30 and somebody wanted to go on a date with you at 2.30, like it's to reschedule because that's important to you of what you want to do. But if you feel like you can kind of lay it off, lay it off, but don't lay it off all the time or don't lay it off once a month, you know, really talk to the person like, hey, I really like swimming. Swimming is fun to me. Um, this is something I really enjoy. It's something that I, dear heart, love to do. I think mean, reschedule. And the person should really understand. Because if they don't understand, bye. Because that's that's a boundary thing that people should really, ex really respect for you. For something that you like to do. They shouldn't knock you off what you like to do. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> Three, you're going to fuck up. <laughs> I really said it like that. You're going to fuck up, but use it as a lesson. Like, so serious. Like, say for instance, your credit. Um, say you got a credit card for $200. And you had that $200. You're like, oh, okay, now I can get gas. All right, cool. Like, that was the plan, right? But then you end up like, oh, I got a cash advance. Like, that's amazing. Took all that out. And now you're like, damn, now my credit's fucked up because I couldn't pay that money back. That's a fuck up. But you can't make the same mistake twice. If you really make the same mistake twice, then that's really not for you and you just don't care so you just doing whatever and that's fucking you up in the long run so like yeah like really take your lessons to heart like don't take everything to heart i would you know learn from your lessons you know something you just gonna be like damn i really and accountability really helps too like to you be like saying damn like i really fucked up and this is this is how i can learn from this and this is how i'm not gonna do this anymore so yeah, don't don't do the same thing twice. <laughs> you just go you just gonna mess yourself up further and there's more you gonna have to fix. So <laughs> for there is nothing better than a rebrand. There's there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with starting a business per se. I know a lot of people like myself have a business, a single mom, or if you're not even a single mom, you're a parent in general, a busy parent with a couple of jobs. It's nothing wrong with a rebrand. It's nothing wrong with looking over of the stuff you overlooked and apply that and rebrand yourself. Or if you find out a new strategy to do something like your hair or um, how you wanted to get that interview or how you want to get in that school or anything, rebrand yourself. 
rebrand yourself, rebrand yourself over and over again. There's nothing wrong with like a fresh start. If you want a fresh start with everything, or if you want to add things to it, a fresh start that way. Like that's something you can do. You know, don't be scared to rebrand. Don't be scared to rechange. I mean, rechange. Don't be scared to change. Don't be scared of um, you know trying new things because those new things can help you further into your goals. It's gonna help you further understand why certain things were happening. It's gonna help you further just get through life. Like <laughs> just get through life. Just get through hard times where it can be hard to find a job or hard to um you know get that get that get that car or you know because you're gonna get there you're gonna get there because you got that plan and then you look over that plan and you gotta rebrand that plan and that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do <laughs> that's what you gotta do oh shit our right, five review the relationships in your life Definitely review that. Review that even with family. Review that with your mom. Review that with your dad. Review that with your brothers and sisters, siblings, uncles. Oh, I'm so mad at somebody calling me. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Review with your friends. Review um, with coworkers. I mean, to a certain extent. Just know who you can really talk to about certain things at work and who you can't because they gonna run off and tell a manager or whatever or your friends they gonna run off and go tell people or run off and go tell social media or you know you just can't trust certain people you just gotta watch them it's not even how long you knew the person i feel like most of y'all know that by now maybe i mean maybe y'all not you know it really depends but it doesn't matter how long you knew a person it doesn't matter how long you didn't know a person it matters is the trust every day like you review like all right this person's cool oh this person did something for me now nah, i definitely gotta do something for them like it's really good thing to review everything so like you understand where your relationship is with them and how moving forward how you want to act toward them and can you really accountability accountability how you can account on them and yeah that will just strengthen a friendship altogether. That will strengthen a relationship altogether to know where y'all both stand. I feel like they should do that too. Like y'all should review together. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And how y'all review together, you don't have a meeting. It'd be like, oh, come on, we're gonna talk at two o'clock and have a meeting about our, <laughs> about our friendship. Like, no, not like that. Like more as a saying as like, you know, y'all going to talk about it. It's, it's going to be natural. It's, it's going to come together. Like y'all going to be like, oh, as soon as y'all start talking about like memories and, you know, things y'all did together. And if it's most of it's positive, that's a good thing. But if most of it's negative, like y'all talk to each other like, yeah, you did this and you did that. And you, you know, you, you told so-and-so that. So yeah, that's why I said, you know, fuck all this, you know, all together, you know. So you just really got to just review that yourself and understand like who really here for you. Yeah, who really not? I hope this lighting is like ah, uh, it is what it is. All right, um, six. Never let anybody treat you like shit. No one. And I'm talking about managers again, friends, family, people in life. Um, your teachers, <laughs> um, people at work, any of that. B boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, no. Girlfriends. If guys are watching, no. Don't let anybody treat you like shit. And that's coming from like words, being negative. Unless y'all plan, but still, you can't be playing like that. Like there's certain ways you can't be playing like that, you know? So yeah, really like understand like your boundaries and what you like and dislike and say, hey, well, I don't like that. And if that person don't like it, that you saying that, that you don't like it, like, yeah, bye, because you're not respecting me and I'm respecting you telling you that I don't like something instead of you keep letting you do that to me. Like, what? Like, that's crazy. Like, no. <laughs> I hope I'm talking loud enough too. I think I am, but I ain't trying to be shouting out like, hey, you know. <laughs> Seven, learn to adapt. Learn to adapt to all situations. Learn to adapt when the money, the money um, coming is high or low. If you're in a business, uh, learn to adapt when you're learning a new skill and you're already in like your own little schedule, but you're trying to, you know, put that skill into your schedule so you can improve yourself. So learn to adapt that way. 
learn to adapt when you have a kid, you know, learn to adapt to change, learn to adapt. And that's the quickest way to level yourself up. Like I said, I have a video on that, how to level yourself up, where I literally talk about like the steps I'm leveling up from my experience. And, you know, just if you ever feel down or like discouraged, like go watch that video. It's very motivating, it's super highly motivating. I would go watch it. <laughs> I would go watch it again if I were you. I would go watch it again if I was me. But, but yeah. Um, eight. Love life literally. Like literally love life. Like love the fact that you're in the room that you're sitting in. Love the fact that you're about to enter rooms that you want to be in. Love the fact that you're you. Love the fact that you're hair. Love the fact that you can communicate with people. Like, literally love life. Like, love it to its fullest. Like, even in the bad moments. Not, like, love it in the bad moments. Because who, who loves a bad moment? What the heck? Like, are you narcissist? <laughs> like, but, like, love the fact that in those bad moments, you have people that you can talk to to get you out of those bad moments. Or you have the money, or you saved up the money, if you did. You know, I mean, everybody should want that, but that's that's one of the tips. <laughs> but um, being able, if you have the money, like being able to, you know, get yourself out of any, any bad financial situation and like, yeah, just literally love life. Um, nine is stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused for real, for real. <laughs> Like, stay focused if you about to get into a relationship. Like, still stay focused on your goals. Like, be focused on them too, but, like, focus on your goals for real. Um, don't let anybody distract you out of your goals. Even if it seems like it's secretly happening because, like, you could be like, oh, I love being around this person, so it's so much fun. But it's like you're spending less hours that you were supposed to be studying or supposed to be working or supposed to be making money above them. I mean, below them. Is it below or below them? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's below them. Like, you know, yeah, you're doing all that above. The, uh, I want to say below them. You're doing all that below them. And now you're like, um, what happened? You know, six months down the line, and, you know, things are going good for that person. You're like, oh, my God, things are going well. And it's like, no, actually, things are going well because you didn't put your priorities first. And the other person thinking it's okay. Every time you ask about it, you're like, oh, things are going well. Things are going well. Knowing secretly, you haven't even, you haven't even worked on it. So you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, stay focused. Like, stay focused even in times where it can get a little tense with money and situations. Think of a plan that way. I know it's easier said than done, but I've been through that a couple times. I've been through that a couple times, honestly, and... I feel like I'm definitely getting better at it, definitely getting prepared with it, definitely understanding the outcomes. You know, if I was to do better or the situations that I was in, I probably could have got myself out of if I would have just stayed focused. <laughs> no, for real. Um, 10 is investing, invest early. Invest early, invest early. So you don't have to work as harder longer later you know you'll not not gonna say you're gonna get rich quicker because everybody's get rich is different so like but staying like consistent with yourself knowing that you can invest in something whether it's school like i said education it can get you in there further people be wondering why people are like 25 22 and they have all this money um you know and they have all this and they have like a seven year business i think that's because they started early they started real early. I think if I would have knew about certain stuff that I didn't know, like my mom be saying that too. Like if there was certain stuff they would have knew, they probably would have started earlier. But they didn't know, and that's okay if you don't know. But if you do know, and you still didn't invest, it's like, what are you doing? You're you're being counterproductive with yourself. If you know a skill, you know something, or you want to do something, invest in it early. Whether it's education, whether it's a business. Whether it's a side hustle, invest, invest. Whether it's the stocks that you be hearing about. Um, I don't know everything out there yet, but yeah, definitely invest. Even if it's when it comes to makeup, if you feel like you want to look prettier for photo shoots, you want to be a model, invest. 
um cut the grader you want to do a camera invest gamer i'm pretty sure get that latest controller or whatever invest 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 in quality invest in life invest in yourself number one invest in yourself but yeah invest 11 save money save it for real save it save it if it's a dollar save it if it's two dollars don't overspend i mean i know sometimes people be like oh it's hard to save try to find a new job try to find a side hustle like i said invest in yourself with education so you can save more like don't stay stagnant and so making the same amount of money i know it's hard i know it's hard easier said than done if you're already in a situation where that's all you can depend on for now but once you get yourself leveled out and mentally leveled out you definitely want to to invest in something to save for sure for sure in a long run for yourself because who really wants to you see it happen all the time but like who wants to be 60 80 still working like who i mean i don't i don't i'm 30 now like i feel like i've been working on some things you know things kind of you know held back with a kid but it's not really held back it's it's just something that happened and I had to refocus and now I'm back in it. And yeah, you just have really have a plan for yourself. Like save money, save money, really save, like save more than you spend. And if you feel like you're spending too much, try to cut back. If you feel like you spending too much, <laughs> again, then you need to save more. You feel me? Whatever, whatever you're spending, make sure you save two times more. I know you can't do that right away, but if you really plan it and add it out, and there's there's saving videos out here. Like I just watched a saving video the other day that gives you different techniques to help you save, whether you're a spender or not. Because hello, we gotta spend, we gotta spend money every day. We gotta pay bills. That's spending. We gotta spend on what we like to eat. You know what we what we like to do for fun. Like we're human. Like this is life. Like yeah, but like. It's, it's techniques and things out here. I and mean, when you invest yourself and everything goes into play, like, you're you going to be saving. <laughs> you're going to be saving, like, for real. Trust me. I got this. You got this. Okay. 12. Don't expect me. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Let me say that again. Don't expect and you won't be disappointed. Like, for real, though. Like, if you don't expect that guy to take you on a date, then you won't be disappointed. But just to know that he got your number, okay, maybe one day we won't talk. Okay, maybe one day we won't. Same thing with a job. If you don't expect to get that, I mean, you want to, you want to believe. Okay, I know believing a spec is two different things. Like believing is having a truthful, um, you know, positive manner attitude toward getting something. And then you got expecting, which means you already think it's going to happen, which of course you, of course, like, duh, you want that to happen. And of course you expect it to happen because duh, that's what happens when you apply for a job. Now you get the job. Or you have a boyfriend, of course, he's going to take you on a date. Life. But if you don't expect that, then you won't be disappointed. And you'll make yourself more happier in the long run because, you know, you can do those things for yourself. With a boyfriend standpoint. Or, you know, you can just apply for more jobs. You know? Like that. So, yeah. If you don't expect, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Trust yourself. Oh, not me itching my eye doing this. I'd be too comfortable now. <laughs> okay, 13. Trust yourself when planning. Definitely trust yourself when planning because, like, it's your vision. Like, it's your plan and you know how you want to do things. Of course, you can talk to other people to incorporate ideas to make your idea even better. But at the end of the day, it's for you. And you should be able to trust yourself when planning yourself and understanding what you like to do. You know, what vacation you want to go on? What shoes you like? What outfits do you want to wear? Um, you know, what events do you want to go to? Like, trust yourself. And then trust yourself number-wise. Like, be realistic with yourself, like, when it comes to, like, the flights or how much food you're going to be spending or how much gas you're going to be using. Not using. How much cash you're going to be spending. You know, things like that. Like, just trust yourself. Trust yourself even when you're trying to get a house. Trust yourself when you're trying to get a place. Trust yourself. When planning because it's you and you should be able to trust yourself trustworthy is definitely important for your self-being and self-worth and self-improvement because that's how you plan to be better that's how you plan to do better that's how you plan to see better 
number 14 be yourself <laughs> be yourself i'm so thirsty be yourself don't be anybody but yourself i know we all like influence each other friends family influencers influencers social media people i know like you know but be yourself you might like something that they do or you might like something that they wear so you want to try that and that's fine but if it doesn't really fit you and it kind of more hurts you in a way like you know like i guess mm, like say you, you really like this dance but like you only like when they do uh say you like somebody doing a dance or something and like you try to do that dance, but like that dance is not really for you because you're just like, ah, like I can't get the groove of it. It's not really me. I mean, if it really is you, you going to try your hardest to, to really, you know, get that dance down path. But if you don't really like the dance, then, you know, it's not really you being yourself. Or if you go out to eat, um, say, okay, that's a good one for vegans, for instance, vegans or pescatarian or any of those like foods. So... If you go to a restaurant, if you go to a vegan restaurant with somebody who is vegan and you try their food, you're like, uh, it's not really me. But you try that to be supportive, like that's nice. But if you keep going, even though you don't like vegan food, like why would you want to keep going? That's not being yourself. That's not being yourself. Or that's like people now, like, and that's kind of critical, but it's crazy. Like being like, being hood, okay? There's nothing wrong with being hood. There's nothing wrong with being, even from the, there's nothing wrong with being in the streets that are, but like, there's no reason to act hard for someone to like you because people won't like you regardless. Because me, I'm I'm not from the hood, honestly, I'm not, but I feel like I, I feel like, I feel like the hood is like, okay, like everything cool. Like obviously, hello, it's bad stuff happening. It's bad stuff happening everywhere. But, like, everything cool. Like, if you be your stuff, people are like, oh, what's up? What's up? It's like that. Like, it's not all like, uh oh, who the fuck is this thing? And they want it. Like, it's, it's not like that. Because if you be yourself, you genuine self, people can feel that. And it just, the energy flows. Everything's there. Mm. <laughs> the energy flows. Everything is just there. But if you try to be something else or something you're not, like, people can sense that. And, you know, people can start calling you fake or whatever. But, like, if you really true to yourself, people calling you fake is just, they probably just hate it. But, like, if you really true to yourself, like, you gonna know what really works for you. You gonna know what you like. Again, it all goes back to just being self-aware with yourself. What you like, what you dislike, what you like to wear, what you like to eat. You know, what do you like to do? And you gonna find those alike people. So, you gotta be yourself so you can find those right people for you. <laughs> That's how that works. That's how that work with being yourself. You gotta be yourself. <laughs> Last but not least, stay away from the negative energy. <laughs> stay away from the negative energy for real. Like, a negative energy is so toxic. Like, it can be the smallest thing and it can just start growing, like, throughout the relationship. Or it could just start growing inside of you because you could be negative to yourself. Like, you could. Look for me, instance, I got a pimple right here that's coming in. But my skin is looking good right now, I didn't even see. But like, there's a pimple right here. So I could be like, oh, this pimple is like, oh, this pimple is, is nasty, it's disgusting, it's on my face. And like, okay, like, I mean, no pimples are nasty and they're not like the, the um, <laughs> and they're not the most pleasing thing to look at in the world, but you know, it's part of you and it's part of human and you, there's things that you can do to clear that up. But if you continue to talk about yourself like that, you're going to eventually feel bad about yourself and then you're not going to really do what you really want to do in life. And then you're just going to not be confident and just be miserable and all sad and and it, it can get really deep, but it doesn't have to because if you're so positive about it, then it's like, yay, like... This is my skin and this is my face and this is how I am and you know I'm so happy to be me and yeah that's how it should be like so yeah no negativity and no negativity no negativity when it comes to family friends co-workers again anybody any human on this planet <laughs> stay away from negativity because they could be so rude it could be the smallest thing like it could be like oh, why do you wear your hair like that or why do you um, why do you wear those shoes like that? Or why do you act like that? I mean, unless y'all talking 
about like why are we doing something like if y'all having like an argument if like y'all trying to come together if a problem happens like okay but like to actually like kind of like either manipulate or like make somebody feel bad about what they do that they truly like doing like that's fucked up and that's negative as shit because like either you may because i mean either they may because they can't do it like you <laughs> okay they may because they can't do it like you or they they just hating they just hating and they just like oh well if i can't do it <laughs> then like she can't do that like they people be trying to really plot and plan stuff on you that's why it's another one that i should add that one too it's not going to be 16 but it's, it's going to tie together but yeah people really be plotting and planning like on you a little bit and it's not like on you but they'll try to like force like that energy on you to where you can't fully potentially do what you want to do because they're all in your ear like da da da, -da. and it's like no I need to stay positive and consistent with myself to know that I can actually do this, to know that I can actually accomplish this. And I can because I got the plan here. I got the proof here. It's all right here. And I just got to put it in, put in the energy, put in that work. But you got someone that's being a hater and being all rude and, and nasty and, and just negative and just, you know, talking shit. And then, you know, that shit going to feed into you. You're going to be like, oh, well, I wonder why. It's because the negativity. Stay away from that neg negativity. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I got for like learning my 30s. I feel like my 20s was just so much of like friendships that were definitely, I thought they was like giving in the beginning, but they were definitely being like salty. <laughs> it kind of got crazy in the end because I was starting to have a car, so I was riding around. You know, I guess I was doing stuff that people wanted to do as well, and they can do that too. They just maybe, maybe didn't apply themselves, you know, and, and that can happen too. Then I had a guy I was talking to, and my friend, I guess, saw the qualities of him and was like, oh, and it was just like, um, no, like, why are you trying to say my leftovers right now? Like, that's crazy. Like, and I don't be trying to play like, I feel like this happens to like, I'm not going to say everybody because, you know, you got to pick your friends and you got to trust that your friends not going to do it. But like, you know, friendships definitely been crazy. But then I also had friendships where I guess I like, I vented way too much and that definitely like, and that's a whole nother thing I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about like how to be a good friend, but like, I feel like I... You know vented too much and that probably made them think like oh okay they can't handle anything they're too much of a problem person maybe i shouldn't have them in my life right now because you always you i mean you want a friend to be there for you like when times get hard but it's like okay now you gotta figure out how to fix your own problem that way you can y'all can go back to being friends like on a happy side i know friendship is not always happy <laughs> you know happy as fuck it could be like some down or you know some helpful times but it's mostly supposed to be happy it's mostly supposed to be positive you know positive people um i feel like money wise i feel like i was working really well but i feel like i really could have like did more with my credit like made sure like i didn't spend as much or made sure i had the job to pay that back and you know, I just use credit as free money. That's not how you use that. <laughs> Maybe I could have used that better. Um, let's see. I want to say that's it because, like, in my twenties, I was I was very positive, very very mindset, very going. Like, I was a hard worker. I I have good work ethic. Like, I always had a job. And I had a car and I had an apartment at twenty one. So like, things I had in my twenty was like very. You know, I think it was there, but I think along the road, I think I just kind of like got lost in the friendships, got lost in the boyfriends, you know, <laughs> got lost in, um, you know, not learning how money really works and what you can do now. Like, it's so, like I said, it's so easy to get, what did I say in my last video? It's so, um, it's so many ways to get a bag. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> There's so many ways to get a bag stuff as you go for, like, seriously, like, investing yourself early and you won't have to worry about no money problems. Even when money problems arise, like, you will have more money to manage it to fix that. You won't be like, oh, no, you're scrambling the last bit. Like, scramble all that and, and invest.
invest it, not literally, but like scramble all that mess and, and invest back into yourself and rebrand yourself. So that's what that is about. So I, I think, I think this is a good video. I think I want to stop it here. Like, ah, I feel proud. I, I think y'all is really going to like understand these tips. I mean, I think y'all going to really um, have a good use for these tips, especially if you're under 30, like to really, you know, get your get it together and get it together and you know live the life that you want to live and yeah don't make the same mistakes i did <laughs> or don't make the same mistakes that you hear that your mom said because that shit really real <laughs> that's real like don't you know and certain mistakes aren't really mistakes like having a kid that's not a mistake okay having a kid with somebody that's not a mistake because you thought like if you really truly like somebody and like y'all really talked about it. That's not a mistake. That's just something that happened. And now you have to rebrand yourself as a mom and still get back on your on your grind. Still get back. Cause still get back to you. Still get back to understanding that oh, you have a kid now. So there's certain times where you can't get back to you eventually. But when they not around or in daycare or they get, have a babysitter, then you kind of get back to you a little bit. Okay, get back to you a little bit. Like. For instance, like, I'll dress a certain way when I'm with my daughter and I dress a certain way when I'm very well with my friends. You know, like, it's a difference. Like, you know, you're still you. Okay. So, those are the 15 tips and the 15 things that I wish I knew or things to know before you're there. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to look at my last video. Y'all blew that video up. Like, y'all really blew that video up. This video a little bit long. <laughs> But it's okay. But y'all blew my video up. Like, that shit was 100 views. Almost 100 views in a week. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Y'all leveling up? I hope so. Because I'm leveling up. I want y'all to level up too. I want y'all to level with me. This is so exciting. But anyway, see y'all in the next video. Bye.